and welcome back to school You've made it through the summer, now there's work to do So put a smile on your face and sing out with me We're gonna have a good year, just wait and see We're gonna have a good year, it's true We're gonna have a good year, me and you So put a smile on your face and sing out with me We're gonna have a good year, just wait and see We are reopening on 2nd June and we are having again the same challenge of continuing with the online classes. Nowadays we, were, we have heard only about lockdown, lot of names of fungi and coronavirus again. So now our mindset should be in such a way to accept the way it is but you should be careful. And when we begin with a new academic year, we should go ahead. For that procedure, you should get started off in the right way, in a positive way and in an energetic way. For this, we should first have a preparation, focus us on certain things. First and foremost, from my part, is responsibility. Be responsible yourself to attend the online classes. Attend all the online classes every day. We have just one or two subjects. Complete the notes and all the activities given in Google Classroom that day itself. And your attendance is compulsory this year after the HOD meeting. We have even planned for a notebook correction when the conditions become better. To add more to this, let me remember the great inspirational and motivational leader Sri APJ Abdul Kalam. He has said, to become successful, just remember and take some steps. First, you should have a great aim and then you continuously acquire knowledge with a lot of hard work to reach that success. Learning is not an easy process. It is really difficult, but this will lead to creativity. Creativity will lead to your thinking or imagination to acquire knowledge by a lot of means nowadays. And this will surely help a person to achieve great heights. Now, we should also thank Almighty for keeping us healthy to conduct and attend online classes in this uh, very terrible situation. And let me take this opportunity to wish good luck to all my dear colleagues, dear parents and all my dear students to have a very fruitful academic year 2021-22. Now at the same time, let me remind you, you are always free to communicate to all your teachers, principal and even management when there is a need. So on behalf of all, I wish all of you good luck, best wishes, thank you all. Good morning, I am Diya Savish from Class 9. I would like to share my experience of one year of online classes with you all. As we all know, last year was a very stressful year and COVID-19 pandemic had struck all over the world. For the first time, we were having virtual classes throughout the year. When I 
first heard about online classes. Honestly, I was sad that I won't be able to see my friends and that I won't be able to interact with them. I was also worried about how I could interact with teachers through Google Meet and how notes could be written and sent. But now, I can happily say that I'm not missing out much other than the classrooms, school ground and blackboard. Our teachers, as awesome as they are, make sure that we get the best class experience as possible and even though sessions were online, we could grasp the ideas and concepts very easily. And now, my friends suggest a Google Meet away. At last, I want to thank each one of you for giving me a chance to share my experience. I'm hoping that the upcoming academic year will be a great success and hopefully we all would be able to meet in a couple of months. Thank you. A warm good morning to all. I'm K. Srina of Class 12th Day. I would like to begin by sincerely thanking all our beloved teachers on behalf of all my classmates for making our 11th grade much more easier and an interesting experience. Last year was different in many ways, like we totally missed the in-person conversation we used to have with the friends and teachers. And we were also not able to spend time together and the online platform was not able to truly replicate the atmosphere and feel of sitting in an offline classroom. I'm a person who believes that whenever you overcome an obstacle, you're actually uh, growing a little bit. Like whenever you overcome, overcome an obstacle, you're actually taking these little steps which culminates in our metamorphosis into someone who is at least one person better than who they were yesterday. We are indeed lucky to have such dedicated and hardworking teachers who try their level best to bring out the best in us and also to teach us effectively and efficiently. We are hoping for the pandemic to subside so that we can get back to school for our last year. The key is to stay positive and stay strong. Because as I said before, there is no comfort in the growth zone and there is no growth in the comfort zone. Thank you for being a great listener. And thank you and stay safe.